Moving on now, federal funds from the pandemic are starting to dry up, yet there are still tens of millions of dollars for things like rental assistance, and much of that money isn't getting to people who are struggling the most. Tonight, Zaria Oates is taking a closer look at what this means for Shelby County. That's right. While the state of Tennessee received an allocation of money for emergency rental assistance, Shelby County and the city of Memphis received a different set of allocated money for their emergency rental assistance. There's actually a chart from the National Low Income Housing Coalition with data updated on September 27th. It shows Tennessee has only approved the use of about 36% of their ERA one funds. Luckily for Shelby County residents, the case is much different. So much different that Shelby County has closed their rental assistance application for the meantime. Locally, we have closed our ERA portal uh, from accepting new applications, and we are just working through uh, the applications we currently have in the portal uh, to eat up the remaining funds that we have. While the state of Tennessee has only used about $83 million of their allocated $231 million for rental assistance, Shelby County has used around $93 million of their $132 million allocation. Despite the accessibility of local funds, some residents chose not to apply because they thought they didn't qualify. For a lot of tenants, it's the language that doesn't speak to their current situations because none of them are in the state of eviction. So they're not seeing it as an emergency and that's what the language says on the website. The residents don't have to be getting evicted. They do need to be behind on rent to receive assistance. With this program, our checks definitely cover, we could cover 12 months of rent owed. So if someone has gone for 12 months unable to pay your rent, um, we can cover however many months you are considered behind. The program can also cover overdue utility bills. Administrative funds will be taken out of Shelby County's $39 million leftover budget, but Goss says that'll leave about $28 million to be used. We definitely have enough applications in our portal to, to eat up that remaining $28 million. Residents can head over to THDA.org for the state-administered rent relief application portal. Back to you.